But we start tonight with a troubling new chapter in our investigation into how Phoenix police respond to protests against police violence. It is titled politically charged because we've uncovered evidence showing that police and prosecutors are working to punish dissent with political prosecutions. Now take a look at these images. They're the front and back of a special coin that officers had to celebrate shooting a man in the groin during a protest in 2017. ABC 15 investigators Dave Biscabing not only getting pictures of that coin, he also discovered the chief knew about it and no one was disciplined or even investigated. Throughout 2020, Phoenix Chief Jerry Williams talked about keeping the peace and regaining the community's trust. Well, we discovered the same officers who fired the shot and had the coin are the same ones still handling protests now. It was August 22nd, 2017 when President Trump came to downtown Phoenix. I won't do it tonight because I don't want to cause any controversy. Is that okay? And after, things quickly got out of hand. These folks, several orders to leave. You can see they're now throwing things. They're throwing water bottles. This video, captured by another they're Phoenix TV station, KTVK, became an iconic and lasting memory of the night. Yeah, as we're watching, Derek, I mean, you can see the crowd screaming. backing up, but still facing. Uh, that line of officers in, in defiance. Yeah, Nate, you just saw one of the protesters go up there and actually yeah, kick a can of that. Out yeah, here that are kicking oh. the pepper spray back, and a guy just got shot with a rubber bullet. The video went viral, and the officers celebrated the shot with a challenge coin. We obtained a graphic image of the front saying "Good night, left nut," and we got a picture of the back of the actual coin. It has the date and says "Make America Great Again, One Nut at a Time." When did you find out that they celebrated shooting you? Uh, it was probably a few months later. Have you ever seen it before today? I had never seen it before. This is Josh Coben. What's it like to see that? I mean, honestly, it looks pretty unprofessional that, that Phoenix police would commemorate that. ABC 15 obtained these images from a class action lawsuit against Phoenix police for their response that night. The case filed by the community group Puente in the ACLU Arizona. They, they relish in the use of violence against, against these protesters. Attorney Jared Keenan is with the ACLU. The pretrial depositions show officers testified this coin was shared and sold between them. I think it undermines any sort of argument that this is like some some bad actors or bad apples right um this goes all the way to the top all the way to chief jerry williams depositions show the chief was questioned about the coin in 2019 a full year after the deposition attorneys against the city filed a records request seeking documents regarding any actions against officers related to the coin the department's answer, there are no records because the coin was not a department-sponsored or funded coin. I think the rot starts at the head. If it's something that they're not investigating, then, then they don't care. It's like right at that turn. At the spot where it happened, Coben revealed something missing from that viral moment, something hidden from the TV cameras. That's pepper spray right there. Something that happened behind this tree. It's a new angle the public's never seen. But first, let's start with the news footage. There was a woman who was who had just stepped barely off the sidewalk into the street. Uh, she had turned her back. She was taking a picture and looking at some pictures. Um, the officer who shot me fired a tear gas canister that grazed her on the shoulder. Now here's what you couldn't see before. My instincts just kicked in to help her. As me and this other lady grabbed her and ran, her, went and ran with her, um, we got shot in the back by the same officer again as we're fleeing. Um, as soon as you know, I got her to safety, that's when I turned around. I think at that point I was I was pretty frustrated that I just got shot in the back while helping someone and that's what provoked me to kick a tear gas canister back at them. The officer who fired all three shots, one at the woman, one at their back, one at his groin, it's Christopher Turiano. He's a quote grenadier or an officer who shoots munitions and gas during protests and he's still assigned to protest responses. Did you know that that officer is on the Brady list because he choked a guy who was handcuffed before? Was not aware of that. Yeah, two other officers reported him for the violence. Oh. After the shot, Coben was arrested days later at his apartment. Police raided his home and towed his car. He was charged with aggravated assault against police and unlawful assembly, but he ended up pleading guilty to just a single misdemeanor, disorderly conduct. So you said you acted out of frustration. If you had to go back, would you do it differently? I would. I definitely would. Would I, you still I, go help the woman? I would help the woman. I 
I let I let my emotions get the best of me. Honestly, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm a pretty quiet guy, reserved guy. I think I just I was just frustrated. I'm Investigator Dave Biscovin, ABC 15, Arizona. In response to this story, Phoenix Police sending us this statement reading, the Phoenix Police Department did not participate in, encourage, fund, or sanction the creation of any such challenge coin. There is also no indication such a coin was used for any public or official purpose on the department's behalf. A review at the time by a commander with the department was unable to substantiate any claims of misconduct related to a challenge coin.